When you're ready to set up your transit screen dashboard, you'll receive two emails from us. One letting you know that we have added you to your dashboard and the other prompting you to set up a password. When you click the link in the email, you'll be able to set up your password. Once you've chosen this, you can head over to dashboard.transitscreen.io to log in for the first time. You'll see a list of the features available for your transit screen. Here we'll be discussing transit screen nearby. When you click on nearby, it will take you to that section of your dashboard. We've likely already uploaded a selection for you. If you'd like to add a new location, you can type in its name here. To show its business hours, you can find its Yelp page and copy and paste the link in the business hours section. You can also add the distance in walking, cycling, or driving minutes, the direction it is from the screen, and the address if you'd like. You can set the icon next to it to be one of ours, preset, or type in the website to pull up the business's actual logo. Click and drag the blocks to decide the order they will appear on your screen. When you are ready, press save. This will update the information that displays on your transit screen. If you have more locations to display than will fit on one list, you can use multiple columns. Just click and drag the blocks to decide where to put them and press Save Changes once you are done. This information will then rotate on your screen every 10 seconds. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at transitscreen.com.